Um, yes, and you could probably tell that uh, Shopify is not paying me to be here today. Um, so, you know, I, I certainly uh, want you to choose the e-commerce platform that works best for you. Uh, so when you update, do you have to start uh, all over creating pages? Um, so you will need to uh, sort of readjust all of the elements in your pages when you when you recreate when you recreate things. Um, luckily, you'll have access to all of your products, uh, as we'll see here in a moment. So it's not quite. Um, I think once you kind of get the the feeling of how to move through the pages down pretty well, um, it might not take as long as it might seem. Um, especially because really the central elements of a lot of these pages are the products and the collections that we're going to be adding. Um, but that being said, certainly if you're building a new theme, there is some amount of uh, rebuilding and adjusting that needs to go into it. So um, excellent question though. All right, adding products. So um, when we are, we, we have chosen our theme and or even before, and we're ready to add products. We'll click on products here, and then this will take us to the add products button. And now we have uh, our sort of add, uh, our add product menu here. And we're going to add a few microphones to our products. So here we want to type the title. Uh, it's going to be a linear 250, a type of microphone. And then in here, we want to type the description of the item. So there we go. That's our description. And then we want to add pictures here below that of the item. Okay, so we'll pull some pictures in and you can add as many pictures as you would like there. We've got three. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and here's where we can add our pricing. So the price, uh, the compare app price. So this is sort of a weird way of putting this, um, but you want your, see if I can do this right. You want your compare app price to be the higher one. I think that that's right. We'll see what I did. Yeah. So the compare app price uh, will be the higher one. If you want something on sale, you put the price there. Um, if, it, if you just want the price, you can just put that kind of a neat feature here. Um, you can put in your cost for the item. This is not displayed publicly, uh, but it can help you figure out your margin um, and we'll work with some of Shopify's analytics depending on which package you uh, choose. And uh, below that, we see the charge tax on this product, which you want to check unless you're selling a product that um, is untaxed. Um, and then the inventory options here, um, you need to add some sort of skew um, and we're going to just make one up here. You can also add barcodes next to that. Uh, we're gonna increase our quantity in this case to one. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit. All right, here we're gonna add the weight. Now this is the weight of the product uh, without any of its uh, the box or shipping. So just the weight of the product itself. We're gonna say it's a pound. Um, the country or region of origins to where you're shipping it from, we're gonna say United States. Um, and then the harmonized system code. Um, now this sounds scary, but generally speaking, you can type in whatever your item is and it will uh, bring up what the harmonized system code is for that. So 8518.10 is a harmonized system code for microphones and for microphone stands in case we were wondering. All right, so here we can scroll down. And if our product is the kind of thing that has variants, we can add variants here. So uh, we'll click on this and it'll give us a variant option there. So we see we have size, uh, we can add another variant, we can add color, and we can add a third variant, which in this case is material. So if we want to add variants, uh, we just click, click our variants. So here for size, we're gonna have S for small. And when you hit comma, it'll add it to your variant list there. And we can go on, we're gonna add medium, and then we're gonna add large. All right, and then for colors, 
Uh, we'll add red and we'll add blue. I'm just adding sort of random variants here. We see in our default variants, there's also a few other options, material, style, and title. Now, if these don't fit your variants, don't worry. You can also enter any variant you wanted. I wanted to add something that was sort of nonsensical. So I added universe and our variant here is going to be Milky Way. All right. So another nice feature, if we scroll down, is that whatever we set our variants up as, it gives us this nice preview pane of what the results are. So given the variants we set up, these are all of the possible products we could have. It's adjusted our SKUs there accordingly, and we can add our quantity and our cost depending on what we are up to. Uh, so we see all of that here. Um, I am not adding variants as just an overview so we can see how it is done if you are selling something that has variants. And then we see here what uh, the search engine listing for this item will look like uh, if someone tries to Google it. All right. Nick, now, I yeah. One question. Um, can you add a photo of like the microphone in the different color? Where would you, so that people could see what it looked like? Yes. So um, you, if you if you wanted to add um, the different photos of your variants, um, you would add those I'm scrolling up here uh, where you add the photos. Okay. Uh, okay. You can add your add your different uh, variants variants there. Um, but yeah. they'll link. So he didn't because he didn't actually add variants. It didn't link Annie. But once it did, then you would be able to click on each variant and pick from that from those photos above to show what what one you're talking about. Oh, great. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Scroll through these. Excellent. All right. So now we're going to uh, scroll back up and we have a couple of other things we need to take care of. So uh, this is our product status, which is right now a draft. We'll come back to this in a moment. Uh, we can manage our sales channels. So right now we only have two. Uh, we set things up to have our online store and then our point of sale, which is in person. Uh, so Shopify is managing our inventory across both of those. And you can sign up for a point of sale option if you need that in your physical store, if you want to uh, connect the two together. Um, and then we have the product type here. Uh, we're going to make our product type the brand of the microphone. So linear and then uh, collections, which we'll come back to. And then you can add some tags to help further uh, divide up the items. This is especially helpful if you have a lot of items and when it comes time to divide things into collections. Today, when we talk about collections, it, our collection is going to be very basic, but recognize that one of the nice things about tags is that it allows you to much more easily uh, put things into your collection. So here uh, we're going to just make our tags the brand name Lanier um, and where the microphone was created in this case in Japan. Okay, we're going to click save. And then now if we come back to all products, uh, we see our single product added there and we see its status is draft. Now I'm going to add four products and here they are. We see now that they're all draft. If we want to make them all active, we'll click here. Uh, we'll remember this. Um, as we're doing this, we can change it from draft to active uh, to skip this step, probably the better way to go. Uh, but in any case, shift this to active. And now we'll see that they're all active, which will mean that they will appear when we go back to set up places. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to speak with a business advisor at no cost to you, please feel free to reach out. We're the Small Business Development Center at Blue Mountain Community College. Please attend one of our workshops, either virtually or in person, or just give us a call. Thank you.